Here's some of the stories trending this week at NASA. Two of the NASA astronauts training for the first flight tests for the agency's commercial crew program visited with employees during an August 11th event at Kennedy Space Center. Astronauts Eric Bowe and Sonny Williams, alongside commercial crew program manager Kathy Loiters, responded to questions during a panel discussion moderated by Kennedy Director Robert Cabana. NASA has contracted with Boeing and SpaceX to develop crew transportation systems and provide crew transportation services to and from the International Space Station. The agency will select the commercial crew astronauts from the group that includes Bo, Williams, Bob Bankin, and Doug Hurley. The first flight tests are targeted for next year. On August 9th, pilots from NASA partner H211 LLC flew through plumes of smoke from the Sobranus wildfire near Carmel, California to measure and study the effects of ozone and greenhouse gases from the fires on air quality in that region. The flight was part of the Alpha Jet Atmospheric Experiment, or AJAX project, based at NASA's Ames Research Center in Silicon Valley. The flight was the 197th AJAX mission in the past five years using NASA-developed sensors and equipment to make measurements of the atmosphere. NASA invited the media to learn about the Cyclone Global Navigation Satellite System Hurricane mission during an August 11th event at the Southwest Research Institute in San Antonio, Texas. Cygnus, which is scheduled to launch November 21st from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida, is a constellation of eight microsatellites that will gather never-before-seen details on the formation and intensity of tropical cyclones and hurricanes, helping to improve hurricane track, intensity, and storm surge forecasts. On August 10th at NASA headquarters, young research professionals discussed projects that use NASA Earth observations and modeling to address a range of environmental issues around the globe. The talks, panel discussions, and poster session were featured as part of NASA's DEVELOP program, a nationwide training and development effort sponsored by the agency's Earth Science Applied Sciences program. DEVELOP bridges the gap between NASA Earth Science and society by helping prepare program participants and partner organizations to address environmental challenges faced by current society and future generations. NASA hosted a Mission STEM Summit August 8th and 9th at the agency's headquarters in Washington. The event brought together NASA and other government experts, students from grantee institutions, federal and grantee civil rights compliance officials, academia, industry, and professional organizations. The experts in civil rights compliance and education discussed best practices for ensuring equal opportunity in science, technology, engineering, and math, and they exchanged ideas for tackling the challenges faced by grantee institutions and compliance officials. The summit was designed to advance NASA's civil rights technical assistance efforts relating to STEM. And that's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on social media and visit www.nasa.gov twan.